Hey everybody, King Corfish here. Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 3DS just came out yesterday, and I'm not going to play it. Why? Because my lack of 3DS capture card. But instead, I am going to play this game. It's the same thing, right? No, it is in fact not the same thing. This is Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 64. But I'm gonna add some hacks to it and make it the same thing. This first hack that I found was called Moon Jumps, and it does exactly what you would think it would do. You jump to the moon! And then you die. Haha, <laughs> Luigi, you can't get me now, can ya? Well, maybe he can. This next hack is called Infinite Lives. And just take a guess on what that does. Now whenever you need to take on those pesky level 9 links, and you keep failing, you can now have as many chances as you need. That is until the timer runs out, of course. Link still ends up winning, though. This next hack is called Infinite Hits, but it didn't really do what it was supposed to do. You see, I was expecting something where if Luigi stood here, he could attack Jigglypuff here, but he didn't. However, what did end up happening was that whatever move Luigi would use would increase the range of its attack, as well as make Luigi's foot bigger. Which I found to be really funny. These next few hacks are hacks that will change the stage up a lot. Getting bored of all the original stages, then why not just go to some stages that aren't original? That's right, you can now battle on the Metal Mario stage. It's pretty fun to be honest, but still a generic stage. Since it's so generic, let's go to one that's a lot less generic. Let's move on over to the race to the finish stage. This stage, though, kind of loses its uniqueness when you put another character into it. Oh, and by the way, it's almost impossible to get past this part in the stage. Captain Falcon's symbol is in the way all the freaking time. But I still completed it. Yay. For this last hack, I've decided to mess around with some characters. This hack is one that allows you to be the very character that we've always wanted to be. Master Hand. Master Hand is actually really difficult to control, and actually runs on HP instead of percent. So that's cool. I also really like whenever you pause the screen, it glitches out the floor for a little bit. And don't even get me started on when you hit A, B, Z, and R. It actually corrupts the game, and the only way to get out of it is if you do a hard reset. But if you want to have some serious glitch outs, then I suggest doing a match with four Master Hands. It's a lot of fun until you realize it's pretty messed up. First of all, there's like four master hands creepily crawling onto the stage, but just barely off sync looks so weird, actually. And then when you get into the gameplay, oh jeez, you have absolutely no clue what's going on and wow. Also, the hand icons on the bottom of the screen are pretty pixely messed up too. Just saying. And then after you battle for a little bit, the game actually freezes and well, Project 64 crashes. Lol. For this last hack, I've decided to do a hack that will come up all the time if you search Super Smash Bros. hacks. Look at me! I'm Metal Mario! It's actually really boring. It's Mario, but metal. The end. Hey, you made it to the end of the video! Congratulations! If you're new, if you could subscribe, that'd be cool. Also, I make videos like this one top 10 songs in video games yay um i've got a twitch and a twitter and check those out too uh, bye